Hi there, in this video we'll be having a look at the Coracam 6 HD. The camera comes with its own convenient robust carry case with all the accessories inside. The foam cutouts in the case have been customized to protect your very valuable camera and your accessories. Now, let's start talking about the camera. When you pick it up, you can actually feel that it's quality engineering. If you think about it, you are going to be walking around with this camera the whole day, doing inspections, handling it, and we've actually thought about that and made it very light. Let's switch it on, shall we? First you pop open the screen, as you can see it's got a nice tilt to it, so you can adjust it any way you want. Uh, don't forget to open your lens cap, very important. The on button sits right here, long press, until the LED flashes, then you can leave it. The camera takes a few seconds until live feed is ready, and 60 seconds until recording is enabled. You'll notice in the top left corner is a circle which changes to a camera icon. That means that you can start recording. The quick guide makes it really simple and easy to use the menu system. If you choose any button from one to five, you'll see a menu popping up. And as you press the button, you navigate through the different tabs and you can use the left and right arrows to navigate through the different options. The camera starts with the last loaded user profile. There are nine user profiles available. Simply long press button two. You'll see a profile icon in the tab with the profile. You can change or edit any profile if necessary. Simply select your profile, change what you want to change, Press and hold the select button. As soon as you see the green mark, you have saved your profile. If you haven't loaded any user profiles, the default settings is suitable for any situation. If you want the GPS coordinates to appear on your screen, simply long press button 5. You'll see the GPS icon appear on the tab. Make sure that you select it, switch it on, give it a few seconds. GPS coordinates will lock and it will appear on a tab at the bottom of your screen. The GPS coordinates update automatically and enables you to revisit a specific site. Another function that I find particularly useful is the image sort numbering function. Found on button 5, tab 2. There you can order your images to make it easy to find them later and to manage your data. You can also reset your ordering by selecting the reset button and to return to zero. Now I'm going to do a demonstration of an inspection, but since we're in the studio, we've brought in a portable UV source. First things first, we need to point our camera towards the UV source to do an inspection. We placed our source in the corner of our studio. There we are. Now I'm going to select the UV Auto Slave mode by pressing button 3, tab 1, option 1. When in slave mode, the UV channel is synchronized with the visible channel's focus. Look at the UV color. Does it contrast with the background? If not, select button 3, tab 3, and select the color that's most contrasting to the background. To get closer to the inspection, simply use button 1, tab 1, and use the left and right arrows to zoom in closer or zoom out. If the inspection is still too far, move closer. Visible enhancement is done to make details visible by increasing the contrast. The options can be found on button 4, tab 2. First, you have low light, second, backlight, third, defog, and lastly, white dynamic range. If UV is present, reduce the gain to the smallest blob to detect the source of the UV discharge. If you still don't see any UV on the screen, then try some of our advanced options. To see smaller UV discharges, you lower the noise floor by reducing the UV threshold. Press button 3, tab 2, option 1, and simply lower 
per threshold by pressing the down arrow. Another option is the integration period and for that we've mounted the camera on a tripod. So, the integration period determines the averaging of the UV channel. Select button 1, tab 2, there you will see four options which gives you the number of frames over which the signal is averaged. One last comment on integration period is the reason why we use a tripod. It keeps your images from being misaligned. Let's record a clip of the UV discharge. Press button 6 to start the recording. Notice the camera icon in the corner. It is now in recording mode. To play back your video recording, select button 5, tab 1, option 3, and select. There you'll find a whole list of your recordings. Let's play back recording 11, select it, and watch your playback. Another feature about this camera that I particularly like is the voice note function that you can do with your video to note environmental factors like humidity and wind. Our camera comes with a laser pointer so that if you're out in the field with a group of people and you want to show them a location of interest in low light conditions, you simply press and hold button one and your laser pointer will appear. I really hope you've enjoyed this operational video and that you have many fun and productive hours out in the field with the Coracam 6HD.